Rubio sound and uh, Drake's Oh, man, that nigga uh, Jazz, man. That nigga Jazz just called me one day and said, uh, man, I got somebody that want, um, I want you to meet. And, <clears throat> and um, when, I, when he clicked the line back over, I said, all right, Jazz, you know, me and Jazz, cool. So he clicked the line back over. He was like, Arby Graham, this is OG Ron C. OG Ron C. And I was like, you know, what's up, dog? You know what I'm saying? You know, I was just hearing, you know, he he had, you know, he was just he was just getting to run with jazz. He wasn't just done nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? I think he had just dropped so far gone it wouldn't have it ain't went that that viral yet. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't know it yet. Um, but he was just like, uh man, you know, I was telling Jazz that, you know, I want to get all your um, fuck action, your whole fuck action collection. And I was like, all right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, when you come back in the city, you know, let's link up. And he's like, I'm going to be in the city coming up in a week. So we linked up in the studio. When I walked to the studio, you know, he started, you know, kind of like bowing down, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, kind of like giving me the praise, you know what I'm saying? Giving me, yeah. the, you know, the, the big ups. And he was just like, you know, he was like, <laughs> I think Jay Prince was in there that day. I remember Jay Prince asked him, you know, what, you know, what's that I'm giving him? You know, and um, he was like, man, this is the, you know, the F Action Collection, the R&B Collection. I write all my songs to F Action Collect, to this man, F Action Collection in my one-bedroom apartment in Toronto. So, and ever since then, man, you know, we just... We just stayed friends through jazz, and then you know me and him got our own you know relationship, and then it just and it's always you know you know rap a lot been my family since I've been shit fifteen sixteen years old, so you know just that it just was a great fit anyway you know what I'm saying because like them been my family you know what I'm saying I've been found from Fifth Ward I've been knowing you know Chief Spook Dewey all them I've been knowing all them since. I've been a little dude, so, <clears throat> you know, it just, you know, was right, you know, that, you know, and then when Jazz and them grew up, I've been, you know, you know, like I said, I've been knowing them before they was kids, you know what I'm saying, when they was babies, they didn't even know me, so, <clears throat> that's why we got love for each other, you know what I'm saying, all the kids now, even, you know, we do all, all of us mess with each other on a different level from when it comes to that, comes to Jay Prince and the rap like like his you know his kids got uh, uh uh they 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 sports agents that's who I do the basketball games with with Andre uh you know all of them so you know like that that was just a perfect fit when I met him it's just hey man it, he was amongst family and, and here I come and it just was I was the you know the man with the F actions and he just man and then after that, he after me, me and him develop a relationship. When he decided to start OVO, he called me and asked me, "Would I be down, you know, to be a part of OVO?" So, and she, I said, "Yeah," you know what I'm saying. It's still, you know, I knew he was being, he was becoming big. I was like, "Yeah." You know, and, he, and ever since then, he, you know, he the one gave me the name OVOG Ron C. <laughs> and once he tweeted that, it was over. That was the tweet of the decade right there. It's a wrap. 